Hello YouTube, here we are again. Restoration guy. What are we doing? Let the camera focus in. We're gonna be cutting this portion from out to here out. And then we're gonna take that out of that, add it into here. So these big old wheels will clear. Because the current problem we have is this. See how it's rubbing? Thought they could bang it in. Not the most brilliant fix. So, I will be cutting that out and welding another piece in. Uh, why this way? How come this way? Why not? So, here's how to do this if this is something you need to do on an old Ford pickup truck. If you're uh, wondering what I am doing under there, I am uh, looking for those. Those are two holes I need to drill out, and they're spot welds. There's one over here, too. Two over here. Can't see them real well, but there they are. We need to drill those out because we want that lip that's behind there. We're about out of battery. I'm gonna see if I can show you before this craps out. That's what we were going for. 
And now I'm going to have to weld up and make pretty. Okay guys, as you can see, we have one in there, and we're fixing to put this one in. Now, I know I haven't shown you guys everything as I've been going, but I'm going to try to show you now. This is really hot, really hard. It's a hot day in Texas. Whew. So uh, let me see if I can't show you what I'm doing. Uh, here we go. Putting this in here. I'm about ready to cut my piece to fit. And we'll be on our way now. I've already marked my piece already. That's how much I need to cut off. There's how much I gotta cut off of here so that it fits in there. So I've gotta do that and I'm gonna need both hands. And you can use a cutting wheel just like that. Probably the easiest thing to uh, get your hands on if you don't have an air one. Love these wheels, they're great. Use them all the time. Uh, really great cutting wheel so uh, yeah I'm gonna cut this off uh, and then we'll set it up there and I'll turn the camera back on as soon as I get that set back up all right we're uh, see how nice we are in here I mean we're this is pretty nice we're pretty nice and even pretty nice and even line that's what you that's what you were going for. You're trying to get that line perfect. We have a nice lip down there. Oh, so I can't zoom in. We got a nice lip that goes all the way down and around. Perfect for welding. It's gonna weld up really, really well. Let's take a look underneath here. Oh, there we go. We're gonna do a little cutting right here. Because it's a little off a little bit, but all you do is you take your uh, your cutting wheel and just trim off a little bit right there, and you're gonna fit right in there. And she's just gonna it's just gonna be it's just gonna be flat perfect. It's gonna be great. Uh, I'm gonna trim that up and pull all this back out of here again for you. See how we're gonna have a nice lip behind here. There's a lip right there, all the way down. And a great little spot welds too. So I'm gonna trim this up, and get this fitting perfect, and then show you and show you what I did. All right, here's what happened. First, we removed this. Okay, and that gave us. Basically, this, and then we decided to remove this from that, which then gave us basically these two. Then we removed that, and then gave us this. And we set th this and that over this right here which told us how much of this to take out of this now we're ready to put this permanently there. Now I can put you on the bipod and you can watch me. I mean on the tripod rather. And you can watch me.
here's a little secret on something like this. When you do something like this, there's a whole lot of issues with things like maybe this lining up here and this lining up here because of the stamping. So when you do this, make sure you weld line here and here first and here and here. You know, line these types of things up first because and if you get this right, you can always heat an area and shrink it. And they like say if it pooches here a little bit, you can heat it and shrink it. So make sure you get these lined up first. I would weld my I put my spot welds in here first to make sure I'm lined up the way I want. So I don't have to end up uh, redoing stuff. And it lines up the best I can so when I do my filler work like over there. I go to grind that off that I don't have to use so much because even if you put pressure in the center here and it pooches you can heat it and it'll shrink but uh, that's body man tricks there so remember here here funky areas with lines and stuff tack up there first it's gonna be a whole lot better and I guess I could show, I'm going to let you see me weld, but I'm not actually going to do videos about me welding because, quite frankly, stuff that I'm showing you guys, if you can't weld, then you can't do this, you know, and, you know, if showing me weld, I'm just, if you think it's really good, then I'm just bragging. I'm not trying to show you how to do things. Uh, if you're not a very good welder and you're doing it for yourself, it's not going to matter. Uh, you're doing it for a client, it may matter a whole lot. So, uh, all right, let me put you back on the tripod. All right, here's what I did. See those nice little tack welds on there? See how they're all nice and tacked? I mean, we're really, I mean, we're, see if I can't, there we go, see? My finger goes right across there pretty easy. Hardly any gap. So as you can see, uh, this is what matters here, so we get this right. So as you can see, that's what I'm doing over here. Uh, I could sit there and make a whole tape of me sitting here welding this, but for, nobody wants to really see here and sit me and watch me weld this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do bits and pieces and show you as I go, uh, you know, I mean, spot a well, spot and also I have the fan on over here so when you're using a MIG welder you can't have a breeze you'll move away all of your all your air that makes the weld better so I'm fixing to get really really hot and sweaty and it's gonna suck so I there's no need for you guys to watch me actually weld it up I'll show you afterwards uh, how I'm doing it uh, and we're still gonna have to uh, put our spot welds in there all the way around here and right there we still got to put spot welds so we'll do all this on top first this is why I said it's better to work from the center of something like this down to the bottom if you're doing it like this uh, you know why didn't I put whole new chubs in it because when I get done with it I don't think you'll really be able to tell that I don't think anyone will ever really notice that we actually widened the inner wheel wells 
And that's kind of what I want. So when somebody else sees a old Ford pickup like this, ooh, they got wide wheels on there. Uh, well, other than you on YouTube will know, but it shouldn't really look like I did anything. So let me get to welding, show you what I did now. This is really hot and tiresome, and so uh, let me finish up and I'll show you what I did step by step, but I'm not going to film me doing this the whole time. That's, I don't think anybody wants to watch that. So, all right, I'll turn the, back, I'll turn the camera back on here in a little bit. There you go. She's welded in. Ground it off and we'll put some filler on there and looks pretty good to me. Ah. She's welded all the way underneath here. All the way welded. I think it's going to look pretty cool. Uh, put some uh, short strand kitty hair on there and then we'll let it fly. Mind you, yeah, I would, you know, most people would just put whole new tubs in there. But we just wanted to get a few more inches and we're going to rhino line this anyway. We're going to put a bed liner and sound deadener under it eventually. We're going to restore this down the road. But this was just so we can get the tires to go down the road and not rub. So we'll take the bed off. We'll clean things up. We'll make it way nicer than what you, you know, way, 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 way nice. But we just haven't got to that yet. This is just so we can drive it around. We're probably going to be restoring this next year. Bed will come off. We'll go through it. But all right, let me put them uh, spot welds in there. And then we're done. You know, all different applications are different, guys. You know, depending on what you're doing, how you want to do it, how you want it to look, you know. But you still got to get some of the basics. Like some of our real basics here, we needed to get this edge that folded over. We needed a, a nice edge for that to fold over to. That's important, whether it's an inexpensive job or an expensive job. You know, that's an important thing to do, so it has something to uh, uh, stick to. So, all right, let me finish putting those spot wheels in, then I'm done with this. We're all spot welded in there. Keep in mind when you watch this video, this is just for now. We're going to do a whole lot more to this truck come next year, but got to be able to have room for the tires to move so they don't hit the inner wheel wells, so... Well, I hope this helps y'all out. I'm gonna put the fill. I'm gonna put a little green stuff on this side for y'all, and then feather it out and put a little primer on it. Then should be ready to go down the road till we get around to totally restoring her. So, okay. Hello, well, guys. There we are. Inside and done. And they should keep till we get ready to restore this thing. And you can ride them fat tires without having to worry about popping one. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you could take some tips to do stuff to help you out. Thanks again. Bye.